Hey friends, it's Angie at the Stone Castle Hotel. And Timothy Haygood in the house. <laughs> in the castle, and we've got lots of friends here again tonight having wassail and cookies. It's and so time, nice. Time for story time. It's such a great time here in the castle. So, Mr. Haygood, yes. tell us a little bit about your show right quick. Well, right now we're doing our Christmas show in the second half of it. And this year we really went all out. It's got all kinds of great music, amazing special effects, just a lot of cool stuff. I don't want to give away any surprises, but you need to come and see it. And if you want to come and see it, make sure you call early because we sell out every show a couple days in advance. Yes, you do. You do. It's not, it's not easy to get in. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. That is that's a good thing. thing. It is. Okay, so okay. what are you going to read to us? Okay, so today we're doing How to Catch an Elf. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's begin. Let's begin. Okay. Uh-oh, wait a second. I am so sorry. I got an issue here. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it like that. Okay. Right. No, nope, maybe we're not. Maybe we're going to do it like that. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's up today? Okay. Oh, no. All right, we got a little problem tonight here. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody is drunk, I can guarantee you. <laughs> They're watching at home like, whoa. <laughs> Okay. See, that was Tim. It was not the camera yes, person. <laughs> that was my fault. I accept responsibility. Um, how to catch an elf. And I would actually, Ooh. yeah, and I, I would really actually like to know how to catch an elf. Because I can tell my daughter. I have a seven-year-old daughter, and uh, she's, she's probably watching this right now. So, hello, Anna Sapine. Here's the story. Do you have an elf issue at your house? We have, well, she'd like to catch an elf. Oh, okay. She's been trying to catch the tooth fairy for years, and it hasn't worked so far. So, this is going to be good. Okay. So, here okay, we go. So pay attention. Here we All go. right. Okay. It's Christmas Eve. Hip, hip, hooray. Yes. Santa is coming around. He's bringing toys to girls and boys in every house in town. Ooh. But only if you've been good, of course. Has everybody been good? Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Okay. Are you sure? Because if not, you know, you're not going to, you're just going to get cold. You're not going to get any good presents. So make sure you behave yourself. All right. Some kids have tried to catch him, but Santa is fast, you see, so they set their eyes on a smaller prize, and now they're after me. That's the elf right there. Yeah. Oh, no. I kind of hope they don't catch the elf. <laughs> I'm not my friend upon a shelf who comes each year and says, no, I've got style, and I've got grace. I'm the elf that never, ever quits. <laughs> Now, Santa's ready. Time to go. I'm sure your traps are scary. I'll do my best to dodge them all and leave you feeling merry. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. In I go to Emma's house to make sure that all is clear. A tinsel net. Oh, that's just fun. I won't get caught in here. James trap cannot be missed. I think it's double-sided. He's got his spot on my naughty list. You bet. That's been decided. <laughs> <laughs> Another house is filled with treats. These kids are getting smarter. These kids, uh, I can't resist the candy canes. My job, it's getting harder. Oh. Santa slowly lowers me into a dangerous room. <coughs> if I touch down, he won't just frown. There'll be a bonbon boom. <gasps> oh. that's, that's a pretty good track. <laughs> Your Christmas maze is all laid out. My work's no longer cushy. I safely brought you all your gifts, but hey, you zapped my tushy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that up? No. <laughs> <laughs> and now my radar's perking up. This next one's quite a chore. We don't yet know what lies ahead in this family grocery store. Ooh. So we run inside and get caught up in an avalanche of food. We've seen all kinds of traps before, but not to this magnitude. Mm. The dinner cannon bursts and spits and shoots out ham and gravy. And then it follows with dessert. Please, Santa, will you save me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we tumble down the waterfall above the eggnog river but santa and i are an awesome team 
Together we deliver. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yes. And now it's time for us to leave. Our night is nearly done. You try your best this Christmas Eve. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yay! Blank page. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can. Woo! Can we do one more? I mean, is that, is that uh, well, you probably can if you'd like to. Can we do one more? Sure. Would that be all right? You do whatever you want. Oh, hey, Lucas is on. Hey, Lucas. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, I, would that be okay? Can we do one more? Yeah. Okay, let's do one more story, everybody. Let's do it. Okay, so this one is a Christmas wish for Corduroy. Aww. Yeah, and he's, Corduroy is the teddy bear. He's so sweet. He is very sweet. He is. Okay. Aww. A Aww. Christmas wish for Corduroy. This, this one could be a tearjerker, so I'm just, I'm just letting you know. All right, here we go. Let's begin. One December afternoon, a toy bear in a big store was just waking up when he heard a mother asking a boy, Hey, have you decided what you would like for Christmas yet? The bear sat a little taller and perked up his ears. Maybe this boy wanted a bear. But the boy zipped right by him and pointed to a bright red shiny fire engine. I'm going to ask Santa for a fire truck with a big ladder and a bell, the boy said. The bear watched sadly as the boy walked away. Oh. Aww. In the store that afternoon, the book at Storytime was about Santa and the elves at the North Pole. All the children were excited to make Christmas lists and to visit Santa. Maybe I should visit Santa, the bear thought. I could ask him if he knows a girl or boy who wants a bear. Tonight, I'll go see if I can find him. Now, just before closing time, a girl stopped right in front of the bear. Maybe she wants a bear, he hoped. But the girl pointed to a doll in a pink dress. Mommy, look, a pretty Piper doll. That is the doll I'm going to ask Santa to bring me when I see him. Make sure you put her name on your list, dear, said her mother. And if you are going to see Santa, we should get you a special outfit. <gasps> yeah. A special outfit? <laughs> I didn't know that I needed a special outfit to see Santa, thought the bear as he looked at his brown fur. Why, I don't have any clothes at all. And without a name, how can I ever be on anyone's Christmas list? Aww. Aww. So late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone home, the bear climbed down from his shelf. The store seemed much bigger without any people in it. There were strange shadows everywhere, and the, belt, and the bear felt very small. He found a department that sold hats. Those hats look pretty special, he said. He tried on all kinds of hats, but none of them seemed quite right for a bear who was looking for Santa. <laughs> Next to the hat department was the shoe department. A pair of shiny new shoes would make me look special, thought the bear, but all the shoes were much too big. Aww. Then he spotted the children's clothes department. Surely he would find an outfit there, but the only clothes his size were the baby clothes, so the bear kept looking. <laughs> Up ahead, he saw a sign with Santa's picture on it. This must be the way to the North Pole, he said. That's just where I want to go. He followed the signs until he almost bumped into a reindeer. The North Pole looks exactly like it did in the book, said the bear. There were trees with a reindeer and a workshop for Santa. He went inside to take a look. This is a very little workshop, said the bear, so he sat down in a chair. It was the perfect size. He looked around the room. There were small toys, tools, and even some elves hanging on the wall. That gave him an idea. First, he tried on an elf hat, but his ears were much too small. Then he tried on a pair of elf shoes, but his furry bear paws were just too big. Finally, he tried on the elf clothes, and they fit perfectly. Now, unbuttoning and buttoning anything with bear paws is not easy. And one button almost fell off before the bear finally got the overalls on. Those overalls are just the right kind of special for me, thought the bear as he looked at himself in the mirror. Now I am ready to meet Santa. Then he noticed a big <laughs> chair nearby. That must be Santa's chair, said the bear. I'll wait here so I'll be the first in line when Santa comes, and then I can ask him for a little girl or boy to take me home. Is that how his voice sounds? Uh, Corduroy? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Sim so somewhat like that, yes. That's what I, was, I thought you were really sounding By like now, right? it was very late, and the bear was very, very tired. So he climbed up onto the chair, and before long, he was fast asleep. That is exactly when Santa found him the next morning. Aww. Good morning, little fellow. How did you get up on my chair? <laughs> Asked Santa. Those are some mighty fine green corduroy overalls you are wearing. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. A good-looking bear like you should be with the other toys. Mrs. Claus, would you please bring Corduroy back to the toy department, asked Santa. Santa called me Corduroy, thought the bear. I have a name. Now I can be on someone's Christmas list. The bear was finally ready to tell Santa his Christmas wish. But before Corduroy could say a word, he was on his way back to the toy department with Mrs. Claus. 
past the clothes, past the shoes, and past the hats, farther and farther away from Santa until he was back where he started. We found Corduroy Bear on Santa's chair this morning. Doesn't he belong in your department? The sales lady looked at Corduroy in the green overalls. You do look familiar, she said, as she put him back on the shelf. That is just where Corduroy the Bear was later on that day when a mother and daughter walked into the toy department. The little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. <gasps> Her smile made Corduroy feel more special than all the names and outfits combined. This must be what Christmas feels like, thought Corduroy. And he smiled his best bear smile right back. The Aww. end. Yeah. Well, I can kind of relate to Corduroy. I think I should have Turned out pretty good. good. It turned out well. <laughs> it did turn out well. So Merry Christmas, friends. And we'll see you in Branson Merry soon. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.